Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with ADSR. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the newest features in the updated version of the ADSR Sample Manager plugin. So we're in version 1.1 and this update rolls out a bunch of features that I think make the plugin even more efficient than it already was. And I know some of them you guys are really gonna love. So what I've done for this video is I've actually scaled back my library. I had tens of thousands of samples imported and I basically exported that list. I can re-import at a later date. And we're gonna be working with a scaled down version just so it's more cohesive and I guess easier for you guys to see what's going on. So let's just dive right in. Now, the main feature that I think all of you will be super excited to see is this little icon here. So you guys are probably familiar with the show tags panel up here at the top left. Under it, we now have a folder icon. This is the show library folder section. And what this will do is allow you to point and create different folders. So you can point to a specific folder, name it, right? Or you can se separate things by genre, essentially. You could you could have, you could do an import for all your hip hop drums, all your feature bass drums, trap drums, right? Whatever you wanna do. Now, the great thing is, is you can click on any of these libraries. You can think of them kind of as like folders. And you'll see only those results populated in the main window. Now you can also hover over the eye icon and you can restrict or choose to include it in any search. So for instance, if I click this, both are illuminated. And if I start to do a search, let's type in clean, for instance, you'll notice that we have, what, clean? You'll notice that we have a drum sample, another drum sample that's been tagged with clean, and then all of the clean electric guitars. Well, check, what, check out what happens if I'm like, oh, I don't want drums, I'm looking for guitars, right? I can just click this, boom, they go away and my search is even more focused than it was. So this is great. This will make finding samples when you import thousands of samples, because let's be honest, we all have thousands of samples. It's gonna make it really efficient and easy, right? So this opens up the possibility to browse through your samples in a couple different ways, right? Obviously you can type for tags, you can search through the tags panel, but now you can essentially use the ADSR Sample Manager plugin to basically access your samples within any DAW, right? And you get to see the samples as they're laid out, say in the folders on your hard drive or in the sample pack that you have. So for instance, let's say I wanted to see, when I wanted to find a snare, a snare sample from this Ovio drum pack, right? Well, what you could do is you could go here and scroll down the snare or type in snare. Well, I could also just go and turn off the guitar pack, right? And now I can go and we could, we could, it basically narrows our search, right? So now as we're scrolling through the tags, with the tags view, we're only seeing the drums. Now we can also go and show this drop down. And in the drop down, I can just navigate to the one shots and select snares. And now I'm looking at all snares. And you can see that up at the, up in the search bar, it's searching through a folder, right? So we can X that, and then I can turn off the indie guitars. And of course I can go and type in snare and it will pull up all those snares. So moving on, another great feature that's been added in this 1.1 update is the ability to select multiple samples at once to edit tags. So check this out. Let's say I wanted to go into our guitar folder here, load up one of these kits. See these, th these uh, dots right here? I can select multiple files. And now what I can do, you see it says down here, four files. And this pink line is letting you know, okay, you've selected and these pink dots, right? So now I can hit tag and I'm gonna title this Elenium and hit enter. You can see that Elenium has been added to all four of those files. So that's awesome because if you're importing a bunch of new samples and sample manager for instance says okay i know this is a snare but it didn't pull the genre you can highlight all of them and quickly add the genre or whatever other tag you want to all those files and be on your way another thing i want to touch on really quick is up here at the top right so right now it says or and and this will restrict how the sample manager searches for tags so on or let's say i type in snare for my first tag select snare and for the next let's say we do filtered and select that it's going to bring up all of the samples that have snare in it as well as all the ones that have filtered so we're going to get ones that you know have percussion and snare short and snare clean snare etc now if we change this to and it's going to make it more hyper focused 
So if once I click this, if any snare has filtered and snare in the same sample, same tags for the same sample, it will only pull those up. So I hit the and, and we can see that we only have two, in fact, these two. So that's a great way to target your searches even further. All right, so moving down to the bottom, we have some new functionality in both MIDI modes and playback. So that's down here. And let's go through the MIDI modes first. So I have a snare sample selected, that one, playing on my keyboard, right? So right now it's on full. So I'm hitting a note and letting up on my key very quickly, and I'm going to pull up Logic's keyboard so you guys can see this. Let's have that float above it. So watch how quickly I let up on the key. And then pay attention to the play bar for that sample. It keeps playing. So in full, it's going to play the full duration of the sample. Now, what you can do is you can take the end point, obviously, and make it shorter, which is really helpful. So let's leave that there for now. So the next mode is stop. So this will stop playing when you let up. Right, so it'll truncate the sample when you let up on the mini note. And then loop. This will loop it back and forth. So speaking of loops, in terms of playback, there's a few different ways now, a few different playback modes. So right now, this is set to uh, forward, right? It's going to go here, jump back, and play it again, play it again, and so forth. And we can tab through these. So this is going to go reverse, right? And this is going to be ping pong. It's going to go from the start and then reverse. Start, reverse. Some of the new features that have been added in the settings tab. So if we go to the settings tab, we can see now we can edit the shortcuts. So this is great because you can have it fit your workflow. So for instance, a uh, cursor left, that obviously plays a sample. Shift cursor left will stop the sample from playing. Um, let's say we want to change that. So I want to change it to alter option left because it's more you know compact on my keyboard. So let me go to the plus. I'm going to hold down. It's going to ask me to learn a new assignment. We're going to hold down alt or option and arrow left and hit OK. And now, if I hit OK on this, and I arrow, it'll play. So let's go to a longer loop. So let's go to one of the guitar loops here. Go into one of the folders. Let's go to this one again. Right, I just hit Option and the left arrow, and it stopped playing. You also have some new functionality and some new options with how you save your rendered files. So you can save it with the originals or a custom location. So that's cool because if you change, obviously, the BPM or the start and end point, right? You can save that with or without, and you can choose where it gets saved to. And then finally, export the database. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video that this is what I did when I cleared out my library that I had, so I can show you guys with a more concise view. You hit export database, and it's going to create a zip file in the user's documents folder and what there's a there's a text file that will be included in there that will sh it's very simple show you how to restore your database settings so that's really awesome uh, if you're moving you know if you're trying to move your sample manager to another computer like I have a laptop that I use for traveling and now I can just move back and forth between them freely and always keep them in sync and up to date so that sums up this video guys if you have any questions or comments post them either myself or someone from the ADSR team will get back to you as soon as I can if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this and obviously stay up to date with the releases of the ADSR Sampler Manager plugin, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. All right, guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>